Hey, welcome back to Black Lab Garage. Well, today let's take a look at uh, performance water pumps. Is there any difference between them and a standard water pump? Are they worth the money? Well, I want one way to find out. Let's take the back off of it and let's see if there's any difference. You ready? Come on, let's get into it. Okay, so what we've got here, this is a Gates 43272P, and the P means performance. Now, if you don't believe me, right here on their website, 4372P performance pump. Okay, I got this one on clearance from Rock Auto for $26.89, so it didn't really cost me any more than a regular water pump. But looking online, this same pump, if we go to Amazon, is $89.37. If you go to Gates, Gates, it's a Gates pump. If you go to Jegs, it's $174.99. But the thing is, are the water pumps actually any different? And are they worth the money is the most important thing. Well, I, I really, I've, I've never bought one. All I've ever used is just standard replacement water pumps because I normally don't have any heating problems. But for that kind of price, I mean, that's cheaper than a lot of just stock replacement pumps. So I'll, I was going to take a gamble on it, but I want to see if there really is a difference. So I happen to have a bone stock. This, this is a water pump for a, as some people call them, a five liter, you know, the later model 4302 from 87 to 93. Now it looks rough, but actually it's never been used. It's just set around for a few years. You see, it's never even been bolted up. We're going to compare it to this new Gates and see if there actually is a difference. So let's open it up here and see what we got. No, I do like how they package the gasket on top like that. Because I have bought them and the gasket be threw down underneath it and be all crinkled up and torn and everything else from the water pump flopping around in there. So that was kind of nice of them. Well, it looks nice. Well, looking at the body casting, they look pretty well identical. Hmm. Well, let's just take the back off of them and see what we see and if there's any difference. Yeah, it looks pretty standard and you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight fins on the impeller. I mean, it's just a plain stock replacement, which is, I should have said earlier, these are the reverse rotation water pumps in case anybody didn't know. Um, that's just a standard stock replacement pump. So let's take this one off.
Well, now. I see one difference anyway. It's got a cavitation plate on it. But as far as the body itself, looks like they've reinforced it there in a few places, but the body itself looks identical. Let's see if it's the same depth. in there so we'll go right here yep same depth so I'm gonna say that the bodies are exactly the same I can see absolutely no difference I'll check the width here Okay, this one's slightly wider, but I honestly can't say that that's not just a casting variation either, because it's just ever so slightly wider. Let's see how many fins it's got. Because it looks like this plate is actually welded to each one of the fins on the impeller. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same number of fans. And from what I can see, which it's kind of hard to see in there because of the anti-cavitation plate, the impeller looks pretty well identical. So the only difference that I can see between the two is that anti-cavitation plate, which does make a difference at high RPMs. At lower RPMs, will you ever notice a difference? No, you won't. All this does is at high RPMs, the water tends to just, it'll foam up and aerate and not go the direction it needs to go. And the plate helps keep it from doing that and actually directs it in and out, you know, a lot better. Uh, Ford did this with Boss 302s. They all had that. So, it does help. But, this is nothing like a Edelbrock Victor water pump or anything like that. Or a flow cooler pump. You know, they actually, I think flow cooler actually makes each of their impellers, you know, custom for each application. Which now is something that a lot of people don't think about when it comes to getting your water flowing, you know, higher volumes. They'll go buy a high flow water pump, you know, even one of the expensive like Victor's Water, and then they'll run a regular thermostat. Now, I know Flow Cooler and all them, they have what they call high flow thermostats. Mr. Gasket has them, but those Mr. Gasket thermostats are horrible. Okay, look at these original Ford thermostats. Doesn't that design look awful familiar? Doesn't that look a lot like a what's being sold now as the high flow thermostats? I mean, look at the difference in size where the coolant flows through. Which one do you think will flow more? Well, it's a no-brainer. This one will. And this is a balanced thermostat design. These were made by Robert Shaw, and unfortunately Robert Shaw went out of business years ago. But Anytime you see this style thermostat, that's a Robert Shaw design. And they are superior in every way, shape, and form. And flow more coolant. So, if you are trying to upgrade your coolant system, get to flow more, honestly, I'd start with a thermostat first. And then, try one of the water pumps. So... Are the high performance pumps like these worth the money? My honest opinion, no, they're not. Um, like I said, this is not like an Edelbrock Victor or a Flow Cooler, you know, that has custom designed impellers. 
these are just stock replacement pumps that have the anti-cavitation plate welded onto the back of them. Other than that, I can see absolutely no difference. So, I mean, yeah, they're worth it if you get one on closeout like this for $26.89, 89 or 86 cents. Anyway, it's $29 and 80 whatever cents. Yeah, it's worth that. But is it worth the $89 or the um, 174 at Jags? No, no way. Um, actually, there are some companies that make just a plate that you can buy and bolt on the back of your stock water pump. Uh, they pop rivet on, or I guess you could, you know, tack weld them if you wanted to, but I think they come with pop rivets. And that would be far cheaper than buying one of these. So I'm just shooting in straight about it. That's one thing that I always try to do is just be honest with you and be straight with you. And to me, those aren't worth the money. I hope this helps some of you make a decision on whether or not to buy one of those pumps. But I appreciate you all watching. Be sure and like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up. And stay tuned. Me and the pups will be back with another one. See you. Any words you'd like to add? No? What about you? You got any words you'd like to add? Any wisdom? Okay. See you.